This is how a Japanese neon sign is made. Ever since the 1960s, neon signs have been the go-to choice for Japanese business owners hoping to stand out against their competitors. Nowadays, the word neon is almost synonymous with the city of Tokyo. However, the use of real neon signs has been quickly declining in favor of LEDs since the late 90s. In fact, it's estimated that only around 50 neon craftsmen are actively making neon signs in Japan today. In this video, we've come here to a neon workshop in Shizuoka to meet one such master craftsman to learn how real neon signs are made. Yokoyama Yukinobu desu. E aoi neon de neon no kakou o sashite moratte mas. Mou 33 nen yatte mas. Saisho no kikkake ga ma kiyo de areba neon o yatte minai ka te iu koto de neon o yaru yo ni narimashita. <laughs> Once the design has been decided, the correct colors can then be selected for the job. All neon signs start life as straight glass tubes, and as you can see, there are plenty of colors to choose from. So, Yokoyama san, what's the first step? What you may immediately notice about neon crafting are the similarities to glass blowing. The glass tubes that Yokoyama san is working with here are fairly thin though and don't have much surface area, so a much more defined flame is required for a precise application of heat. You will also notice a small rubber tube attached to the end. So are you using that to blow air into the glass? The more bends in the glass that Yokoyama-san completes, the more fragile it becomes. So every time it is put back into the flame, extreme caution must be taken to heat the tube slowly as to not cause any cracks from sudden thermal expansion. <laughs> Even for a master craftsman such as Yokoyama-san, the delicate nature of glass can be cruel and unpredictable. Many of these designs feature long, continuous tubes with many bends, and all it takes is one minor error to send you all the way back to square one. Pieces with various colors will also require many different tubes to be fused together, further increasing the risk of disaster. So what are you marking on the tube there? As Yokoyama-san progresses with the piece, he constantly moves back and forth between the torch and his workbench to check the shape of the glass against the blueprint. While working from a template may look easy though, all these bends must be made by feel and within only a couple of seconds while the hot glass is still flexible enough to bend without snapping. For the larger circle, the bends are less severe to give it a smooth, even curve. To achieve this, the glass needs to be heated to a lower temperature 
so careful use of the torch's foot pedal is essential for applying an appropriate amount of heat. Once all the necessary bends and joints have been made, the next step is to make the neon sign, well, neon. But how exactly does that work?電気を消すと今これ透明なガス管ですけどこのあれですかねガス管そのものに色をつけるといろんなこう色が表現できるそうですねどうですかうん次は先ほど曲げたやつに電極をつけます So, what's the first step to testing a neon sign? Oh, is that the argon you're putting in now? これはアルゴンのガスの発色を良くするために水銀入れてます。あ、水銀。あ。水銀を入れると発色が良くなるそうですこれは今これをつなぐためのバーナーになります これを今ネオン管を一回焼いて中の不純物を抜いてから this process is called bombarding and is crucial to ensure that the tube can emit light as intended, as well as ensuring a usable lifespan. A powerful charge of around 25,000 volts is passed through the tube to obliterate any dirt or impurities. This causes the tube to glow intensely, and as you can imagine, it gets pretty hot. The inside of this tube is currently reading at 177 degrees Celsius. Sheets of an insulating material called mica are also placed between any neighbouring sections of the tube to prevent the electricity from jumping across and damaging the glass. <laughs> Oh, 
With the light test successful and the argon gas vacuum sealed inside, there are just a few more simple steps to complete. To make the neon sign presentable and usable, it will now be mounted onto a small acrylic box. Not only will this allow the sign to stand freely, but more importantly, it houses the electrical components required to power it. Every sign is different though, and each one requires its own bespoke mounting solution. And the very final step is called blocking out. Dense black paint is used to mask areas of the tube that shouldn't be illuminated according to the design. This gives neon signs the appearance that sections of the tube are seemingly floating in mid-air. Of course, after seeing Yokoyama-san make it look so easy, we had to give it a try for ourselves. Ah, sasaga desu ne. Kirei ni LG ni narimashita ne. Yeah, so let's see if I can make this clean L shape. Eto kono haji o motte. So desu ne. De, ko kuru kuru. Tonikaku kin kin to tte ka mo guru guru 360 to. で柔らかくなってきたら火から出してわかりましたはい<笑>うまい<笑>オーモス<笑>はい。失敗。It folded. That is too wet. まあ角度は大丈夫なんですけど。Yeah, so like it kind of like melted too much. It's like a noodle, you know, when you overcook noodles, and it was like it was hard, and then just like suddenly it just went boom. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt the same way. I felt it one second earlier, and the temperature would have been perfect. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that's tricky. Yeah, so I say it's a, I say it's a draw, Yasu. I must agree. Well, with that display, I think it's safe to say that we won't be crafting our own neon signs anytime soon. えっと、今ですねネオンを看板として使われることっていうのはほぼなくなりまして、うんえー、どちらかというとですね、えー、まあアートとかエンターテインメントの世界での需要が伸びています。だいたい3年ぐらい前から、えー、ネオンをこうアートに、えー、アートとかエンターテインメントの世界で再生するっていう活動を始めまして、うん、おかげさまで、まあ、徐々にですねあの伸びていっています。えー、っと具体的にはこうどういった方々がはい、取り入れられてそうですね、まあ、都内のですねあのコワーキングスペースとかシェアオフィスの中で、うんえー、ネオンアートとして採用されたりとかですね、うん、あとミュージシャンの方が、えー、ミュージックビデオですとか、えー、ライブの会場で、えーまあ、シンボルとしてネオンを、えー、作るとかですね、うんはい、そういったことが多いですね。今日見ていただいた通りですねあのネオンを作る技術ってすごくあのえー、素晴らしい技術なので、まあ、そういったものを、えー、このままもう消えてしまうのは非常にもったいないということで、うんまあ、素晴らしい技術を未来にこう残していきたいっていう、えー、そういう思いですね、まあ、そういうこともあの私ども会社としての、まあ、使命なんじゃないかなということで取り組んでおります、えー、大ネオン展というですねネオンアートの展覧会を、えー、開催させていただきまして、うんえー、かなりあの多くの反響をいただいたんですけれども、まあ、今後ですねあのそのアート展を、えーまあ、全国各地で開催していってよりこう皆さんにですねネオンアートというものを、えー、知っていただく機会が増えればいいかなと思ってます。はい、And that is how a Japanese neon sign is made. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification for instant updates on future videos. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.